Want to quickly transfer a file to one of your friends? Tired of the limitations of email attachments? If so, you're in luck. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com. In this video, I'll be giving you our guide to using AirDrop on your Apple devices. Now let's get started. First of all, what exactly is AirDrop? AirDrop is a peer-to-peer -peer or P2P network that was created by Apple. This network allows users to wirelessly transfer files from one Apple device to another, whether it's between two of your own devices or to transfer files to a friend. The network uses Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection in order to transfer the files. AirDrop makes it easier to send files without needing to use email attachments or other devices like USB storage drives or external computer hard drives. How does AirDrop work? Well, P2P networks allow for the connection of two or more devices for the purpose of transferring files. These can be ad hoc or temporary connections or permanent. AirDrop allows for the creation of a temporary peer-to-peer -peer connection between two Apple devices. Generally, these connections are totally safe. As long as you only use AirDrop with people you know and trust, you don't need to worry about any safety or privacy concerns. AirDrop connections are encrypted to protect your privacy, so even if someone was to try to hack into your connection, they wouldn't be able to access any of your files or personal information. Next, let's talk about where you can find AirDrop on your device and turn it on. We'll show you how to do this on both an iOS device and a Mac computer. On an iOS device, swipe your finger upwards from the bottom of your screen to reveal your control panel. Then tap the AirDrop icon. Finally, choose who you want to be able to receive files from. To enable AirDrop on a Mac computer, click Go at the top of your screen. Then click AirDrop from the menu that appears below. When the AirDrop window opens, click Allow me to be discovered by. Then choose who you'd like to receive files from, everyone or contacts only. Now we'll show you how to share something with AirDrop. On iOS, find the file, photo, or note you'd like to send through AirDrop. Then tap the Share icon. This icon will look the same regardless of the type of file you're sending. From the menu that pops up at the bottom of your screen, tap the name of the contact you want to airdrop the file to. The person you send the file to will get a notification that you've sent them a file. To share something with AirDrop from a Mac, open the AirDrop window, then wait to see the name of the contact you want to send the file to appear at the top. Find the file you want to transfer, then click on it and drag it over the contact's name. The file transfer will begin automatically. If you're having issues with AirDrop not working properly, here are a few things that might be causing the problem. Number 1. You need to make sure Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled on both the sender's and recipient's device. Without these being enabled, AirDrop won't work. Number two, if the recipient's device isn't close enough to the senders, this can cause problems. Ensure the devices are in range of each other. Number three, make sure you're both on each other's contact list. If you selected contacts only when you enabled AirDrop, you can only send and receive files through AirDrop with people saved to your contacts list. Number four, files cannot be sent with AirDrop to a device that is asleep or in airplane mode. If you're trying to transfer a file to an iPhone, make sure the screen isn't locked. Number five, the recipient's device may not have enough storage space to receive the file. If you suspect that may be the case, Try deleting some files from the device to free up space. That does it for our guide to using AirDrop. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.